Good morning. So today I have the day off. I don't have anything planned. And since you guys seem to enjoy my vlog content, I thought I'd take you along for the day. I had breakfast and while I was sipping my tea, I finalized the schedule, the book club schedule for 2025. I'm so excited for the books that we're going to read. And right now I've been... Um, busy with reading Far From the Madding Crowd because I need to write some notes on it for the book club because we're currently reading this and I'm gonna share it in the Discord server and I finish those chapters I will make myself another cup of tea and then I'm going to read something else <music> talk about the books that I recently finished. Uh, I both didn't really enjoy them that much but so the first one was Mrs. Robinson's Disgrace. This was a biography of a Victorian woman who wrote a diary about the affair that she was having and her husband found out and there came a trial. I thought I would find it more interesting. I didn't really bond with the woman um, and I think it was due to the writing style. Usually when I read biographies, I can really uh, feel for the historical figures, but here it, it felt a little distant and that was the biggest problem for me. For example, I also read a biography of Marie Antoinette and I really... I was sucked into her story and I loved it so much. It was written by, what's his name? Stefan Zweig? Yes, um, I think it's Stefan Zweig. It was a really good biography, but this one, I don't know, something was missing. And then the second novel that I finished was The Man Who Broke Napoleon's Code by Mark Urban. Let me sip. This is a black tea with marzipan. I don't know how you say it in English. It's marzipan in French and marzipan in, uh, in Flemish. But I think it's marzipan in English. Anyway, uh, The Man Who Broke Napoleon's Codes. I picked this up in Dublin. I picked the other one also up in Dublin in a secondhand store. This one, um, I wanted to read this one for research purposes because I'm currently writing a new novel. I'm also always writing a new novel. Um, and I must admit that it didn't really live up to my expectation. The writing style bothered me a little bit. It, it also felt distant and cold and it wasn't really that interesting research-wise. So yeah, um, it's good that I've read it, but I don't know. I'm not going to pick it up again. All right, so what am I going to do now? I've traveled to uh, Dublin and Italy this year and I always save my tickets and folders and everything that I want to keep and I put it in my journal. And I have not done that yet, so I'm going to take some time and actually make sure that my journal is uh, up to date. So I'm gonna do that now.
So, I am reading the ebook version of 20 Years After by Alexandre Dumas. And yesterday I made a serious progress because I spent the evening reading the ebook. And I've been reading this book <laughs> since this summer. I think I started it in August and I'm still reading it. It is a huge novel. It's 650 pages, I think. And I'm now at a page... let me check. I'm at page 518 of 632. Now, I never read one book. I always read multiple books at the same time, which is why it is taking me so long. But I also feel that it is unnecessarily long and I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble uh, finishing it because it started so good, like the first half was so good, but the second half is starting to drag and so I'm just going to sit with this book and finish it so I can be done with it um, because it, it's taking me too long and I really want to I want to finish it. So let's read the final 100 pages and I hope I can finish it by the time I have lunch. So let's see. because I thought I could finish this book in an hour and it is now 1.30 it is 1.30 I already had lunch by the way and I still have to read um, 70 pages so I will be at this all afternoon but I'm going to record another YouTube video for you guys uh, I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon on this. I don't know how many hours it's going to take me, but it's gonna be a while. I just finished 20 Years After by Alexandre Dumas. It is almost 5 o'clock in the evening. And I thought I would finish the book between 11 and 12 a.m. That's insane. And I, I can't believe that I thought I would only need an hour. I think I've read three hours to finish that book. But that's okay. I'm glad it's over. It wasn't bad, but I will do a video about it in the future. Tonight we started watching a new TV show. It is called Medici and it is super good. Uh, we watched two episodes and I really, really like it. It is 8.30 right now, going to bed by 9.30. So I'm going to do one hour of reading in A Column of Fire. I'm on page 180 and this is by Ken Follett. I have read The Pillars of the Earth and World Without End. So this is part three of the series 
really enjoying it. So this is going to be the end of today's vlog. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I will see you next week.